For centuries, the Hmong people have lived in the rugged mountains of China and Southeast Asia, preserving their unique language, customs, and traditions. Though the Hmong have a rich history that stretches back thousands of years, their story in the 20th century became one of tragedy, resilience, and survival. And at the heart of this chapter is the charismatic and determined leader, General Vang Pao, who led the Hmong during the secret war in Laos and helped guide his people through one of their darkest times. The Hmong people originally come from southern China, where they lived as farmers and hunters for thousands of years. However, their early history was marked by conflict with the expanding Chinese empires. As the Han Chinese sought to consolidate power and control over vast regions, they clashed with indigenous groups, including the Hmong. Repeated rebellions against imperial rule in China, especially during the Ming and Qing dynasties, resulted in significant losses and displacement for the Hmong. Eventually, many were driven from their homes, fleeing south to the mountainous regions of Laos, Vietnam, and Thailand. In their new highland homes, the Hmong remained relatively isolated, maintaining their way of life, traditions, and independence. They farmed, grew opium as a cash crop, and practiced a spiritual tradition rooted in shamanism and ancestral worship. However, the political turmoil of the 20th century would soon drag the Hmong people into a deadly global conflict. As the Vietnam War escalated in the 1960s, Laos became a critical battleground in what would become known as the Secret War. Officially neutral, Laos was nonetheless a strategic area for both communist forces and the US-backed anti-communist factions. The communist path at Lao, supported by North Vietnam, sought to gain control over Laos, using it as a supply route for the Ho Chi Minh Trail, which ran through the dense jungles and mountains of Southeast Asia. In response, the United States, through the Central Intelligence Agency, CIA, launched a covert operation in Laos to fight the spread of communism. Recognizing the military potential of the fiercely independent Hmong, the CIA recruited them as guerrilla fighters. The Hmong's leader was General Vang Pao, a highly respected military officer who had served in the French colonial army. Vang Pao was a charismatic and pragmatic leader, well versed in guerrilla warfare tactics. He became the face of the Hmong resistance, leading thousands of Hmong men in battles against the Pathet Lao and North Vietnamese forces. For years, under Vang Pao's leadership, the Hmong fighters, many of them mere boys, played a crucial role in the war, disrupting supply lines, gathering intelligence, and rescuing downed American pilots. Vang Pao's leadership earned him respect not only among his people but also within the CIA and U.S. military. Despite their brave efforts, the tide of war turned against the Hmong and their American allies. In 1975, following the U.S. withdrawal from Vietnam and Laos, the communist forces triumphed. For the Hmong, this victory spelled disaster. The path at Lao considered the Hmong traitors and collaborators with the enemy. Thousands of Hmong who had fought for the Americans were executed, and many more faced imprisonment, torture, or forced labor. The Hmong villages were burned, crops destroyed, and the people hunted down. Faced with certain death, hundreds of thousands of Hmong fled their homes in the Laotian highlands. The escape was harrowing, families were forced to travel through the treacherous jungle, hiding from Pathet Lao forces and navigating the perilous Mekong River. Many didn't survive the journey. Those who made it crossed the river into Thailand, where they ended up in refugee camps. The camps were overcrowded and often lacked proper sanitation, food, and medical supplies. Life in the camps was difficult, and the Hmong endured years of waiting, unsure of their fate. As the Hmong people languished in the Thai refugee camps, international pressure mounted to find a solution for these displaced families. The United States, recognizing the role the Hmong had played in the secret war, eventually opened its doors to resettling many of the refugees. General Vang Pao himself became a prominent advocate for his people, working with U.S. officials to ensure that the Hmong could start new lives in safety. In the late 1970s and 1980s, the first waves of Hmong refugees began arriving in the U.S., settling primarily in Minnesota, Wisconsin, and California. These communities were chosen due to the availability of affordable housing and opportunities for employment. 
Life in America, however, was not without its challenges. Many Hmong refugees had no formal education, spoke little to no English, and struggled to adjust to life in a modern, urbanized society. The cold winters of Minnesota were a stark contrast to the tropical jungles of Laos, and the cultural differences were immense. Despite these challenges, the Hmong gradually began to rebuild their lives. Churches and local organizations played a key role in helping Hmong families adjust, offering language classes, job training, and social support. Many Hmong turned to farming, a tradition they knew well, while others took factory jobs to support their families. As the years passed, the Hmong American community grew, and Hmong culture began to thrive in a new setting. Festivals like Hmong New Year, Traditional clothing, music, and art became important aspects of community identity. General Vang Pao remained a central figure in the Hmong diaspora, not only as a symbol of their struggle but as a political leader and advocate. He continued to work for the rights of Hmong refugees and lobbied the U.S. government for support in aiding Hmong in Southeast Asia who still faced persecution. Vang Pao passed away in 2011, leaving behind a legacy of leadership and resilience. Today, the Hmong diaspora has spread across the world, with the largest communities found in the United States, France, Australia, and Canada. In the U.S., cities like St. Paul, Minnesota, and Fresno, California, are home to thriving Hmong populations. While many Hmong Americans continue to face challenges related to poverty, education, and language barriers, the younger generations are excelling in various fields. Many have pursued higher education, become business owners, and entered professions such as healthcare, law, and government. Hmong American culture has become a unique blend of traditional practices and American life. Elders in the community continue to pass down customs, such as pine tob, traditional embroidery, clan-based social structures, and spiritual practices like shamanism. Meanwhile, the younger generation is more integrated into mainstream American society, with many embracing modern technology, education, and popular culture. In France, Canada, and Australia, Hmong communities face similar experiences of maintaining cultural heritage while adapting to the local society. In each country, Hmong festivals, cultural centers, and advocacy groups work to keep the language and traditions alive. The Hmong people's journey from the highlands of China to the far corners of the world is one of survival and adaptation. They are a people who have faced immense challenges, war, persecution, and displacement, but have never lost their sense of identity or community. General Vang Pao's leadership during the Secret War helped shape the destiny of the Hmong, guiding them through one of the most turbulent periods in their history. Today, the Hmong continue to honor their past while forging new paths in the countries they now call home. Their story is a testament to the resilience of a people who, though uprooted from their homeland, have found ways to thrive and maintain their cultural roots, even in the face of overwhelming odds. As they look to the future, the Hmong community remains a living testament to their strength, endurance, and unyielding spirit.